My name is Jack Coyne and I've spent the last eight years working with Casey Neistat, but last week, the company that I helped start closed up shop. From the very first email that I sent Casey, to starting and then selling a company, to today being unemployed, this is the story of where I've been, how I got here, and where I'm going. I got fired. I'm not gonna be working at Beam anymore in the future. Thursday last week, we had an all team meeting early in the morning right here in this space. I was sitting on the couch over there and Casey and Matt walked in and sort of to everyone's surprise, they said, we're both gonna be leaving the com company. And then a couple of folks from CNN came out and spoke to us and said, some people would be getting jobs at CNN moving forward. Uh, it's Friday morning. Um... Beam got shut down yesterday. This is the day after. I don't know if people are gonna come in or what. Kind of a weird, kind of a weird day. I'm 27 years old and I've had some incredible experiences so far in my career, yet I couldn't be more excited that I got fired. Let's go to my apartment. So in the spring of 2010, I was just finishing up my freshman year of college. I was studying film. So a friend of mine said, Jack, have you have you ever heard of this? these guys, the Neistat brothers? They make videos on online. They also have a show that's coming out on HBO in a few weeks. You should watch that. You'll really, really like it. A few weeks later, I watched on Friday at midnight, the Neistat brothers premiere. Immediately, I was like, these guys know what they're doing. This is such a cool style of filmmaking. I need to get in touch and be a part of this. So I went online and I found some contact email. Sent an email like, I will work for free for you guys. I will mop the floors. I will do whatever it takes. I just want to be around the space where you guys are creating because I think you're doing amazing work. A couple days later, I got an email back from Matt Walker, who was working with Casey and Van at the time. We needed more hands on deck. You know, we were such a small team. It was just basically me and Oscar working for Casey and Van and Tom. I think that you took the initiative to write info at nystatbrothers.com yeah. and I think I responded pretty much right away. You That's did, your yeah. memory. It was weird. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, come on in. I started mopping the floor and doing basically tasks around the office. I learned how to do electrical wiring and carpentry and, and was help, just helping build the physical space of the Nystat Brothers studio. Shortly thereafter, Casey said, hey Jack, you wanna help me make a YouTube video? And I helped him do animations on one of his first YouTube videos, which was about Facebook. Um, the Facebook privacy policy. Summer was coming to an end. Casey said, do you want to drop out of school and work for me full time? And I said, no, I don't think my mom would be psyched if I dropped out of school. A few months later, winter break came. I had like six weeks off. I came and I worked in the studio with Casey again. The next summer I came back again and I just kept getting invited back and just sort of sticking around and, and making myself helpful in whatever way I could. At the end of college, Casey said, all right, you want to work for me full time now? And rather than apply for other jobs, I said, sure thing, sounds good. And ever since then, it's been like a, a rocket ship to right now. The first few months working with Casey, I was doing a lot of producing. 4.33 in the morning. And then Casey said, I'm leaving all this and I'm moving to Boston and I'm going to MIT. And I was like, oh wow, cool. I guess is, that's it, that's the end of the road. And he said, no, I want you to stick around, stay here, work on the studio. You know, Jack, you didn't mention there that I just like had you hang around and I still paid you for six months. That would have been like a cool deal. I was still doing stuff cool in the studio. It was, I was like still... 40 hours. A... All right, let me get watch the rest. A few weeks later, Casey texts me, go buy a couple pairs of Google Glass. I have a project for you. Call me when you get it. I go find out how to get Google Glass. I call him back. I got it. What's up? And he says, so we're starting a company. <laughs> That's all about sharing perspectives. I need you to wear these glasses and make videos about what you're seeing and what you're experiencing for the next foreseeable future. Uh, and, that, and those were the first like prototype movies of what of what Beams would end up being. You want about 70 in a 45. I was doing 70. Shortly thereafter, Casey got linked up with Matt Hackett and the two of them became business partners. I was helping both of those guys in whatever way I could, helping start a startup from the ground up. I was getting all my friends, everyone I knew to beta test this Beam app for us. And more people started joining the team and we had a new office. We went out to VidCon and we launched the app for the first time. We're officially live in the app store. We're in the Beam car. And then we made another iteration a few months later and just kept making updates and improving it. And my role 
for the most part was managing community, dealing with our users, collecting feedback. Jack's job primarily consists of watching beams all day long. What was my favorite part when I was a kid? In the fall of 2016, we were, I guess, running out of money. Casey and Matt found a partnership with CNN. They acquired Beam and they were gonna let us run independently in the same office. We're gonna make other apps and we're gonna make YouTube videos. Jack and I were chit-chatting about this the other day and he said, why don't more people in the United States wear surgical masks to prevent the spread of flu like they do in Asian countries? Interesting question, right? But I also continued to manage the community that was on panels that was sharing their thoughts and ideas about current events and things that were happening in the world. And then after a year, uh, for whatever reason, it CNN decided that it made sense to move forward in a different direction and not run Beam as, a, as an independent company. And that brings us to today. I have no job and no plans other than to make awesome YouTube videos. 2018 is gonna be the wildest year of my life and it's just getting started. Oh, and I got a one-way plane ticket to California tomorrow. Hey Jack, what's our next project? Because I could use a I could use a hand here. You wanna come in the RV? Oh, and one more thing, the Beam News team still gonna be making videos, so you should subscribe and watch them. I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs>